Now, some news from the aviation sector. Ugandan Airlines has received the first of two Airbus A330neo aircraft as part of a recovery plan which started in 2018. The acquisition increases the total fleet to five. Uganda airline officials say the COVID-19 pandemic has leveled the playing field, giving them a chance to compete regionally with other airlines like Rwanda and national carrier Kenya Airways. The a 330 Neo aircraft is fully owned by the Ugandan government, which paid for it in full, stating that it did not want any financial burden on the aircraft. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. With the acquisition of two Airbus A330 800 Neo, Ugandan Airlines is looking to take a chunk out of the regional and global transport, arguing that the global pandemic has hit the reset button on the aviation sector, giving it a chance to compete with other regional carriers, including Kenya Airways. We believe that despite the pandemic, uh, the long-term future of Uganda and the world is that things will normalize as we get uh, standardization across the industry and also as the vaccine comes in and begins to roll out in 2021. According to Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni, who officially received the aircraft, the purchase of the aircrafts by the government without any financial burden will give the airline a leg up. This credit agency, we had already done paperwork and so on. So I told our people, those fellows can go to hell. We shall pay for the aircraft ourselves, cash. So we paid for the other ones, the CGR or something. We also paid for this one. This is a long-term project to build infrastructure for Uganda and to give Uganda the connectivity that it needs as a landlocked country and also to ensure the airline is the backbone of the economy long-term. So government thought about it and decided it is a project worth investing, so they funded it fully from shareholder funds. The two planes, purchased by the Ugandan government at a cost of 14.5 billion shillings, inclusive of buyer equipment and some spare parts, brings the total fleet of the airline to six. Last year, Ugandan Airlines acquired four light 72-seater planes for short routes, especially within East Africa and some parts of Africa. This coming at a time when Kenya Airways is reducing its fleet and converting some of its bigger aircrafts to cargo freighters to stay afloat. Ugandan Airlines collapsed in 2001 after it faced financial difficulties. Ugandan Airlines began flight operations in August 2019 with four Bombardier CRJ-900s for regional flights. The Ugandan government says that by fully financing the purchase of the two aircrafts, this detaches any financial liability of the aircraft in the future. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, at the Entebbe International Airport in Uganda.